Okay, what we're going to do with this uh, video today is to try to demonstrate uh, the technique we use for just regular maintenance on the Belvedere chairs. I'm also going to show you how to, to uh, adjust the brake mechanism uh, on your Belvedere chair. First thing we do is we put it up on a, on a table so that we don't have to bend down. It's not necessary. You can do this while you're on the while the chair is on the floor. First thing to do is just pump the chair to its highest position, and then remove the screw in the in the cover cap. Lift the cover cap up, and then generally the chair is, uh, is dirty in this area, so you need to get some uh, brush or something and clean the the hair and the and the stuff out from, from this cap. Uh, assuming that the brake mechanism is not working properly, a uh, couple of things to do. First is, is to spray the column. Is to spray the column mechanism liberally and let it set for a few seconds and then clean the WD-40 off. Then you take a 9 inch wrench and you put it onto this nut here on top of the, on the brake mechanism and you turn it clockwise until it, until it feels like it's tight and to check how, it, how it's tightened up on, on the brake, you lift the mechanism and if the chair is locked, you've done your job right. If it's still loose, you just tighten it that much more. If it's tight, whenever it should be loose, then you have to back and turn the, this nut counterclockwise. And at that point, you've done the job of adjusting the brake mechanism. So when you're finished, again, take WD-40 and spray onto the mechanism, onto the column, and leave that in place. We then suggest that you take a small dab of lithium grease on your finger and place it on the column right at the point to where the scissor mechanism that operates the brake comes in contact with the pump itself or the pump bar and that keeps it the, fric the friction from cutting into the pump bar. At that point, you performed most of the responsibility of the maintenance on this particular chair. Then you return the, the cap and secure it with the screw. You find a lot of times people don't replace this screw and it won't, it won't hinder the operation of the chair at all. However, uh, to do the good job, you want to be sure to replace the last part. It also makes the chair operate a little less noisily. We use a uh, cleanser uh, that's provided by 409. We buy it at Home Depot. It's a 409 cleaner degreaser, not a standard product, not a standard 409 product. We suggest that for use in cleaning all of the products on the Greyhounds chairs, on the Belvedere chairs the base, the rubber ring and all. Now I'm going to show you uh, how to replace the uh, spider. It's the cast iron part that uh, secures the chair seat to the column and the mechanism. Uh, to take the chair seat from the bottom from the spider, I use a 7 16 inch a nut. Use that either a mechanical tool like I'm using, or you could use just a regular 7 16 inch closed it, closed in wrench, or an open wrench for that matter. Removing the four screws. Remove the seat and set it aside. And taking a hammer. You lightly tap against the cast iron spider. It's it's secured onto the top of this column. Uh, the column is a slightly tapered uh, mechanical piece, and 
just to lightly tap will remove that cup from the column. Then, noticing where the the uh, pip, the pin that goes through the shaft is, uh, you secure that. Looking at the bottom of the of this spider, you notice there's a cutout that has to fit exactly on to where that pin is. That m keeps the pin moving with the column. And lightly tap the column or the uh, spider back onto the column. Replace the chair, the seat, put the screws or the bolts back into the bottom, and you have uh, performed the job of replacing the spider onto the chair. It, it's very, very rare that that this product uh, breaks, but do we do we do have that happen occasionally, and that's what the purpose of this film is for, is to show you how to replace that in case we're not going to be there. Uh, that should cover this uh, CD. If you have any questions, uh, please call me at 575-770-3416. Uh, and I should be able to help you on the phone. Thank you.